Wagwan, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. My name is Frank, and let's get right into this episode. Last time out, Delhi Varga and Hungary won the World Cup. Now, with the new season ahead of us at Arsenal, we will go into this Invitational Cup against Milan. I'll see everybody out there on the pitch, hopefully with a hat trick. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Deli Varga. We know exactly what he's here for. He wants to come out here once again and show up and show out. We're going against AC Milan, a really good team in Italy. I'm not too sure where they ended up last season, but all I know is it's a nasty, nasty day here at the Invitational Cup. We see Lamar, Benacar, a bunch of different players here for AC Milan. I really do like these kits they have as well. I'm not opposed to going to Italy to play eventually in my career, but the Champions League is something that I must win for Deli Varga and Arsenal fans across the globe. Here we go, good turn now. Looking to make a run, pass outside. Nice and easy. Looking for a shot maybe. Oh, and a nice, nice shot and Saka with the ball in. Oh my days, man. Martinelli as well. Looking to get a beautiful bicycle kick, but no luck. And here comes the corner now. And I'm looking for a pass now. A bad pass from Martinez. Ends up turning it over. And now AC Milan is going the other way. Beautiful ball. Rafael Ayao. A good touch. Aranu with a beautiful defensive effort. And Bukayo Saka with a great touch. In the Delhi Varga, who's now using his pace, maybe getting around the CB. Tamori. We know this man. I think he's from the UK, actually. Let me know down below where Tamori is from. Beautiful, beautiful effort though from Bukayo Saka. Looking for a pass now. Slaughtered off to Declan Rice. Maybe finishing through, but Tamori with a great challenge. And a good fake by Deli Varga. Still on it. Maybe a goal and a goal right there. Beautiful finish. Sorry for the, uh, a little bit of yelling there. Trying to be a bit more calm in my videos, but I mean, that's a beautiful finish. Running through the ball, Deli Varga stays on it. And of course, hard work will always get you a goal. Ball knocking all over the place. The keeper came down to get that ball, probably not the greatest decision, and Deli Varga finishes it right into the back of the net with that wonder class left boot. Look at this, Gabriel Jesus at the striker position for AC Milan. That is exactly where he ended up going after Deli Varga came in at Arsenal. Milinkovic Savage, Hawkins, Pedro Porro. Now that's a name right there, I bet you he's Portuguese. Let me know down below if I'm correct on that or not. Here we go, a quick ball inside, Gabriel Jesus, and he just misses it against his old teammate, Aaron Ramsdale, to the left side of the net. Wow, that was a close one. You gotta really make those shots count. What's the call? Okay, about that time, Arsenal free kick. Finally, we get some love here. And now Deli Varga looking to pull some flair out, maybe. Good touch, but almost a nutmeg. And we'll see if we can do something on the defensive side of things as Aranu ends up stealing it. And Bukayo Saka looks to move it around. A beautiful touch. And now let's see if we can just hold this ball. Not necessarily park the bus, but I would not mind if we did. <laughs> I still want that hat trick though, so we're gonna keep working for it. As we move up the pitch here, Martinelli. But a good touch to Jorginho, who moves it all the way up to, I think that might be Frasenda, it is. Quick back heel maybe, and Tamori with a good defensive effort today. Once again, Hawkins, maybe an unknown player to most. I'm not really familiar with that name, but I know Rafael Leao, but a beautiful pass through. And Hawkins, we need to play a stop here. Rafael Leao, and a beautiful touch by the CB. Bukayo Saka plays it back to Aranu. Martinez Aranu moves it up to Bukayo Saka, and Deli Varga just lets that ball roll right by him. Not the greatest decision, but look, we're working hard. And you can see Bukayo Saka as well working hard in the attack to play defense. As Rafael Leao dribbles it out to end this first half off. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm not sure where we're playing, but whoever is in the crowd has got a front row seat to greatness. That's all I can say. Deli Varga tearing it up so far 1-0 with a 9.2 rating. That just goes to show, even with one goal on the score sheet, he's making a huge difference today. Jorginho now to Declan Rice. Chouameni. And I think there might be a little bit of a rain cloud above us as the ball has moved all the way up to the left side of Tefrasenda. A beautiful touch now and Deli Varga trailing. Here I go. Good touch. Ah, Tamori moving the ball to the right and Theo now looking to move past Bukayo Saka. I don't think that's possible and look at it. He just did. Rafael Leao with a good defensive effort but not as good as Saka's. And Aranu with the interception and now Saka in the attack. I'm calling for the cross and I think he can make it in. Beautiful cross, maybe. Oh, that's not a that's not a goal. Yo, we're gonna need VAR, man. I think he caught that ball way too far back behind the byline. A good touch now. Jorginho to Declan Rice. Declan Rice. And a beautiful shot, but a great, great effort 
from the Milan defense. You know Italy, their number one thing, if you want to win the title, you have to play defense. And they are for sure playing defense on us today. Declan Rice now moves it across to Deli Varga once again. Slowly but surely looking to make the right move and he passes it back to Antonio. Christensen, and now I'm looking for a pass. Christensen plays it in, maybe over to Mori, and it is! Oh, but Theo just gets the ball away. A beautiful touch. And I mean, if that touch was not made, I don't think they stopped that goal. I don't know if Deli Vargas on the free kick. He is. And I'm looking for the shot. I might go for a knuckleball. I'm looking for an outside the foot shot. I'm going to tailor it to the top left bins. Ah, not a good shot at all. Just not enough pace or power on it. And I mean, we have to improve every single time we step out here. It's looking like Deli Vaga needs to pick up his free kick game as well. Tamori now getting pressed from Chuameni pretty high in the attack, surprisingly. And I want to see Chuameni make a play, but he just doesn't. I'm trying to get him to get in there and tackle it. You know what I'm saying? Get stuck in a little bit. I'm not afraid to get a yellow card, especially up 1-0. It is the Invitational Cup, so we know what that means. We're going to have to keep playing strong focused and dedicated if we want to get this match win for tc and the key water a great deflection to get that ball away and we're looking good right now look at that top left corner deli Volga leading the game with five shots but we want some more goals if we have five shots ball thrown out to deli Volga, who looks to make a run maybe and i could be looking for a pass inside maybe martinelli gets there and he just does not disappointingly look at this press look at the press from Deli Varga, looking to make a play. Pass it back to Tamori in the back line. Maybe defense can be played here. If Theo makes him run, we might be in trouble. But he ends up passing it back to Tamori. And just like that, AC Milan go down, baby. That's the way it's done. Arsenal get the victory here in the first match of the season. I'm looking to win everything we get into. I'm not sure if we will. I don't know what to expect from this season. But a first game from Deli Varga resulted in a big, big win. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to this match right here, and I'll see everybody in the next one. Here we are again, Union Park Stadium. We know exactly what we have to do here. It's all about moving forward. Last time out, the game that everyone saw was a dominant, dominant victory. I mean, it was only 1-0, a tight, tight win, but we'll still take the victory regardless of the scoreline. I simmed our second match. It was against RB Leipzig. That's exactly who it was against. 3-0 defeat we had, <laughs> and a hat trick by one of their players, one of their best. Not too sure on the name, but Deli Volga already looking for a shot and maybe a power shot finish. Oh my days, ball going everywhere but the net. Declan Rice now on it, looking to fake it to Declan Rice. Beautiful touch, maybe. A good touch, Deli Volga, and maybe finishing through. Oh, disappointing. And Malen looking to do something. These guys are slow, man. They are playing slow football today, and I think we're going to expose that thoroughly. Deli Volga pressing up now with Martinelli and Chuameni in the attack. Declan Rice as well. Ruben. Now it could be Ruben Diaz. I'm not sure though on that one. Moves it up to Almada and Mala now on the attack. Maybe making a play. We have a new CB back there with a colorful hairdo. And he just not playing his position. And of course, you don't play your position six. You're going to get exposed. We've seen it right there. Look at this. Look at this play. Six. Boom. Jumps in. True many goes to play the man and the ball goes right into the back of the net. Right by Aaron Ramsdale. A good stop by Malin. And I think this might have been the striker for the Holland side, right? The Netherlands. This is their striker right here. Besides Cody Gakpo, of course. Doniel Malin comes out here to score the first goal of this match. And I'm not going to take lightly to a goal threat. Declan Rice now moving it around. Oh, my goodness. Norton Krufi. A beautiful little Rabona pass, but I mean, just passes it way past my face. I mean, I'm waiting for Bukal Saka to do something here. I'm gonna slide it off to him and use that pace now, Saka. Go, go, go. He's using the pace beautifully, but he's slowing it down because I think I'm slowing down. A good touch, but Florian Vertz comes in from behind the ankle bones there. Wow, I thought that might have been a red card, but he ends up playing the whole ball and no ankles at all. Malin now moving it around. And I think we have a pretty good chance of stopping this play. And we do. Good touch now. Hopefully, Martinelli moves it up to Deli Varga, who uses that pace. Steps in front of... Oh, maybe a good touch, but come on, man. We can't even make a play. Crufido, a good touch. The to Declan Rice, who makes a back heel play. Norton Cruyffy, a good touch to Ulrich. And this is just ball movement now. Let's go, let's go. Good touch, good touch, good touch. Good stop and good touch again. Good play now to Martinelli. Martinelli with a good through ball, maybe. Oh, back to Martinelli, back to Deli Varga. And Frimpong, 
I hate Frimpong so much, bro. Why is he so fast, man? It don't even make sense. Good pressing now, Florian Verts. We want that ball back. Get the ball back. Oh my days, bro. This is how we're starting? Good collection from the CB. I really don't know if this is how we're going to start the season and continue playing like this, but it's not looking good for us. I'm going to stay central, though. I'm at risk of subbing out, which I do not plan on doing. As Martinelli catches the ball now, and Deli Varga looks to make an attack. Frimpong on the heels, and Deli Varga goes right by the CB. Now looking for the shot, maybe. Oh, my days, bro. I got to let that one go. Oh, my goodness. I can't even believe that shot. Bukal Saka now to Ulrich and a good challenge put in Romero now looking to get the ball away and it's a touch off the face or maybe the arm of an Arsenal player I'm not sure who that was Cabral moves it inside Florian Wurtz looking for the attack please guys please a beautiful ball but offside of course no surprise I mean this is a disappointing match extremely disappointing Lukas Saka ball on his boot shooting many now with a good pass Deli Varga good step over move now and he could go all the way to the net Finesse, finesse. Beautiful, man. Let's go. Deli Varga goes down and squares this one up at one apiece. I knew it was not over. I knew I had to stay disciplined, stay focused, and keep moving forward up the pitch. A beautiful touch by Deli Varga. It took a while, but a beautiful finesse shot right around the keeper. No surprise that he hit it so easily. And I mean, he's one of the greatest for a reason. Perhaps the best in the world. We'll find out if he gets this win. Florian Wurtz now pulling something out of his bag, trying to get something going. Zachny, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It looks Italian. And now Jeremy, I didn't know that was his first name. And a good defensive effort, but Chuamani just got the front of that boot. Did not catch the ball. And Deli Volga with a beautiful interception, and he could go all the way. Jeremy Frimpong now in the attack with a beautifully played ball. Zachny looking for the attack now, and no plays made, but a Ramsdale save. I'm not sure why he didn't go up there and just grab it, but we'll take it. I mean, 94th minute, two extra minutes being played here, and a ball is played away by Deli Volga, thankfully saving this one from being a disaster. The preseason not looking the greatest, but I will say this. I'm feeling ready for the regular season. I just want to say thank you for tuning in. I'll see everybody back at the main menu. Just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. If you stayed to this part of the episode, you're honestly the true supporter of this channel. I'm not sure if we have any stats to show, so I will make this quick. I mean, we have some friendly matches there at the end. Two goals, um, one clean sheet in three appearances for Jelly Varga. Averaging a 7.9. I'm feeling really good about getting that Ballon d'Or this season. With that being said, and the episode over with, thank you very much for tuning in. It's been Frank on the pitch with Deli Volga on FC24. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.